Oh, you didn't know I did a Road to Sponsor series? Well, yeah, that's basically because I never upload any episodes of it. But uh, welcome to episode 5 or 4. I actually don't know. Ah, who cares? Welcome back to another episode, boys. Today, I want to focus on getting World Lux because we need a shitload of World Lux to get 3 legendary items. Okay, guys, we're back in Grotopia. And first of all, I'm going to harvest my unicorns. I honestly never do this. I don't know why. I always forget it. So uh, we're going to do it right now real quick. Before we are actually going to do something, I believe my gar is almost level 10, which means I will get a gar leash. And I believe there's also a small chance that you get a rideable gar. I'm not 100% sure if it works like that, but someone told me that there is a rare chance of getting a rideable fish. I don't know. I don't know how it works, but um, I believe gars like sand sharks. Am I right? Let's see. I got a 100 LB sand shark here. Hey, there we go. Your gar gained 160. Okay. Uh, but he's level 10 right now. Do I... Did I get anything? How does this work? Wait, what? I thought you'd get a leash when the fish is level 10. How the... What the fuck? A few moments later. Oh, wait, I think I get it. Uh, I still need to get 1500 XP and then it's at level 10. So I'm almost there. That's my bad. Sorry, guys. Stop writing the mean comments that say I'm stupid. I know it now. So sh the fuck up. Okay, I'm going to make some fish chunks here so that I can feed my goldfish too. There you go, buddy. Oh, he's still a little hungry. I think goldfish also eats sunfish, right? Yeah. Oh, he's still a little hungry. Well, too bad. Wait, do, do they eat dogfish too? No, they don't. Well, too bad. You aren't getting anything more. Okay, so Valentine's event is also around the corner. And I still got a thousand ATMs laying in my uh, farm world right now that I didn't place down. So I think I want to clear everything here and then place the ATMs, well, right here. The only downside to it is that I wanted to make a video about these grow saber trees. So I can't remove those yet. But that's okay. I can just keep them there in the middle of my ATM farm. But all this other shit has to go right now. Oh, wait, that also means that I have to remove the fish tanks here and everything okay you know what i'm going to make a separate world for my atms i'm not going to put them in this world oh wait valentine's actually already starts in three weeks or something like that fuck i'm late why am i always late with these kind of things Okay, guys, there we go. We got a quality ATM farm over here. I actually thought I had a thousand ATMs, but apparently it was only 800. But that doesn't really matter. Anyways, I'm going to recycle all the remaining dirt here on the ground. And uh, then we're going to make some world locks. 
And then we're going to make some world locks, baby. Okay, so in my everything I got from Winterfest video, I made a shop for all my Winterfest items. And um, I'm going to empty that shop right now. And we're going to see how many world locks I made during this Winterfest. First of all, let's drop my world locks. I almost got enough world locks to buy my first legendary wizard, guys. Probably going to do the katana quest first because I think the katana is my favorite legendary item. Or my favorite item is a legendary robot. But I think the robot is the most expensive one since you have to give three thingamabobs to it since there is a quest where you have to give three thingamabobs and uh well let's be honest i can't pay that so i'm probably first going to get the katana and after that the dragon because the dragon is also really cheap and then the last one that's going to be pretty hard My Ice Serpent Scarf didn't sell. I thought they were like two diamond locks each, but apparently not. Um, I'm going to put it at 150 world locks. So if you are interested in buying, this is your chance. All right, I'm done. I got a total of 467 world locks. Very nice. Let's also empty the world locks from the water balloon thingies real quick. 20 world locks in this one. 60 in this one. Holy shit, that's actually a lot. And uh, how much is in here? 44 world locks. Holy shit, I didn't know I had that many balloons. By the way, I also made a little shop for all the anniversary items. So we're going to empty that too. Here we go. 37 world locks from the block. Holy shit. Eight world locks from the party bun things. Seven world locks from dish. Two world locks from dish. All right. All right, boys. Let's see. The total of world locks right now is 781 world locks, boys. That's a lot of world locks. I believe the legendary wizard costs uh, 135 diamond locks right now. So we're pretty close to getting the legendary wizard. So we're pretty close to getting the legendary wizard. I don't really know yet what I want to do to make more world locks. I'm actually thinking of making a public vending shop and then sell spots at that shop because, well, I'm a pretty big YouTuber and uh, I can promote the shop. So a lot of people will go there and that way i can make hella world locks and hella bitches from selling all those spots so uh yeah so that might be a very smart idea because you know i need those bitches to get the legendary item by the way if you have any suggestions about how i should make my world locks please let me know i'm open for suggestions i could also make a small seed pack shop but i'm also doing that in phoenix to da vinci already so i don't know how interesting that would be to watch if you really want to help out the series well there are four donation boxes here and there are another four donation boxes here and well and let me tell you about those donation boxes they aren't full yet you see got some Spots left here, and oh, here only nine gifts in that, so yeah, they aren't full yet, so I mean, uh. are there actually any easy quests that I can complete right now? Achieve 100% awesomeness. Oh, yeah, I need to do those quests. Oh, we could actually buy five black crystals and make a black crystal dragon. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do the awesomeness quests, and after that, we're going to buy black crystals. Hell yeah, boy. Okay, let's see what we need to do for the awesomeness quests. Uh, deliver 800 tenement building. They are pretty expensive. Fuck off. I'm not going to do that. Smash 15,000 rarity of blocks. Boy, I already did that. And defeat three criminals in card battles. Defeating three criminals in card battles. Boy, I got this. Here, all my superhero stuff. Here we go. I got all my superhero cards and my crime waves. Let's pop a few. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, that's probably way too many. I only need to do three. What the fuck am I doing? There's actually also a quest where you need to get a blanket cape out of one of the super villains. So uh, maybe if we're lucky, we can complete that too. Okay, big bird out. That one is easy. I got this. Just use all the fire cards and here we go. Incinerate. Flame on. Incinerate. Liquefy. Incinerate. Liquefy. Let's see, what did we get? Villain pots, right? And super tights. I don't need that shit. Another big bird. Uh, <laughs> hell yeah, boy. We got this. We completed the quest. Great! We didn't get a blanket cape though, that sucks! But the chance of getting a blanket cape is probably lower than 1%, so why would I even bother? Alright, here we go, we're 36% awesome, that's not 100 yet, but um... Well, we're also not really close to sponsoring an item yet. Okay, we're in Boy Crystal right now, and this is honestly the most annoying world in this game, because look at this... 
peasants must not speak. They use the royal luck and no one can talk in this world. So it's extremely hard to buy and sell stuff here. Okay, let's see. Black crystals are 26 to 28 world locks. And the owner is selling them for 38 world locks. So, um... I'm not going to buy them here. A few moments later. Okay, I've literally searched everywhere already. Um, this guy sells them 30 world locks each. That is still pretty expensive, but um, I'm just going to buy them because I really can't find any sellers. Right now, we still need one more and then we can make the crystal dragon, baby. I guess I'll have to buy it for 38 world locks because I really can't find anyone who sells it. So, uh... There we go. Overpaying, everybody. All right, now we need to mix the five black crystals with each other. There we go. The crystals have reached their highest vibration. Let's see. Uh, they need more earth. All right, I got this. Okay, guys, here we go. It's ready. We're going to complete another quest, boys. Here we go. Three, two, one. <claps> Completed, baby. Hatch a black crystal dragon. There we go. All right. Awesome. We're slowly getting there, guys. I know nobody has faith in me and everyone thinks I'll never complete this series. But uh, just keep track. In three years or something, we will sponsor our own chicken suit or whatever. I don't know what I'm going to sponsor yet. But uh, look at the black crystal dragon, everybody. Let's see, the info says another of the dragons of legend. Please be aware the legends may have been a bit exaggerated. Sponsored by Doopy and Foran and Contesso. Yeah, this item was sponsored back in a time you could sponsor an item with fucking 3000 world logs. If it still worked like that, I could sponsor four items right now. But um, things have changed, man. Things have changed. Anyways, that is all the time that I have today. So I got to stop the episode here. If you guys have any suggestions on how I should make world locks in this series, please let me know. I personally think making a public fan world would be pretty awesome. But if I want to do that, I need people that can help me. Because I honestly don't have the time to manage that by myself. Or maybe I do. I actually don't know. But if you have any other suggestions, please let me know. That is going to be it for this episode, everybody. If you enjoyed it, like this video, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys later.